all right good morning students how is everything uh we want to take up a one a lecture of course you know that i i finished my lecture before the lockdown so this the series of lecture we are having now will serve as as a recap as a recap or revision of what we have already done before so as to prepare you for the exams so the first lecture we want to treat is the biology of the analyst the analyst just as we know got the name from the word analogs. Analogs means lay two rings. Now, to say, to explain this, uh, the analogs are just like uh, rings. Okay, rings stack upon another, stack upon one another, or a coin upon another coin. So that is how they got the name analogs, lay two rings. All right. Now there are four major classes of analogs: the polykits the Huridinia, the Oligokis, and the Siblognidae. There are two of them that are of importance to us that I want us to discuss more, or uh, at least to say one or two things that are very important on these ones. The first one is the Polykis. The Polykis are marine in nature. So you can see them in brackish water or in the oceanic. Why the Oligokis are fresh water? And that's why you cannot see at one inside the lagoon or inside the sea. What are some of the characteristics of these analogs? Let's talk about the symmetry and body size. In symmetry, they are bilateral symmetrical. In other words, from the dozer to the ventra, you can make a good division. And then by size, they range, they range from anything. Uh, less than one millimeter to something up to one meter Okay, so there are some specific examples of smaller ones and larger ones on this particular slide The body plan the earthworm is not like a, a tube Okay, a smaller tube smothered into a bigger tube Okay, so we'd say that they are like a tube inside a tube so the inner tube has the digestive system on the digestive tract, where you have the pharynx, the oesophagus, the crop, the gizzard, and the intestine. In between these two tubes is the cellum. What is actually the cellum? Cellum is a body filled cavity between the outer body wall and the inner one that is the gut. Okay, they contain the gametes and they also contain some. Uh, the hydrostatic skeleton for, for locomotion. The solum functions the same way that blood functions in mammals and in other higher organisms. So we say that the poly the 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 the, the, the analysts are solumates. They are solumates. They contain solum. This is a picture of uh, an internal structure of the solum. Okay. You can see the gut, you can see the cell, you can see the egg, because we say that they contain some some, uh, some gametes sometimes, as well as the hydrostatic skeleton. The body wall. Uh, one thing we need to know about this or uh, anything that their body is, they, they are non molting They don't shave off their skin, as we can see in most, in, in, in the arthropods. They, they are, they are, they are non molting Okay, so they are, they are, they are, they, they have kitty, okay, their, their skin uh, it, it, it contains a lot of chitin, okay, and then, but they are not molting like in other, in other lower animals like the, like the arthropods. Alright. So this is a transverse section <coughs> of a particular, the transverse section of a particular, of, of, of a segment where I can see the gut the cellum and so on. It resembles that of uh, a vertebra. Segmentation in analytics is very important because they got the name from the from, from the word segment. They are called segmented ones. So if there are no segmentation, then there won't be analytics. So segmentation is important. But there's something we need not to know here. There are two major types of segmentation. They have the repeated ones. And those are the name implied they are repeated and they are found towards the middle. Then you have the, 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 the specialized ones that are found at the extreme, the posterior extreme and the anterior extreme. And they have some, some specialized structure for, for, for that for that matter. 
okay so you have the 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 the, the the extreme, the posterior extreme, where you have the prostomium and the peristomium, and then you also have the, 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 the you have the anterior extreme, where you have the peristomium and the prostomium, and then you have the posterior extreme, where you have the pygidium, and so on. This structure uh, helps us to understand it more. At the, at the anterior extreme, you have the pharynx, the jaw, the pap, the eye, the um, prostomium, and the peristomium, and the tentacles. Okay, but then uh, after that, you now have the repeated segment toward the middle, uh, just like the name, I bet they are repeated, uh, just like one has a semblance or the other one. No particular feature, although that they have a, a one, a one segment has a pair of parapodia. Okay, then after that, you now get to the, to the, to the posterior action, they have the pygidium, the annulus, and the cyrus. Locomotion is by the use of hydrostatic scale or or skeleton and the mechanism for that locomotion is described in the other bullets on this particular slide and also on this particular slide and this is a, 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 a diagram of a typical parapodium parapodium now parapodium has two parts the the dorsal one is the notopodium and the ventral one is the neuropodium the ventral notopodium is used for respiration so it has some sera, it has some gills, and so on. But the the, 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 the ventral one, the neuropodium, is used for locomotion because it has a contact with this, the segment. Sense organs. Uh, the, the adult have six major sense organs, which include the palm, the antenna, the eye, the statistics, the nuchal arm, and the lateral organ. Please take note of these sense organs in the, the analyst. The nervous system. The analyst has a brain. Actually, they have brain. That brain is called is, is, is a pair of ganglia. Okay, a pair of ganglia. And then they control uh, their nervous their nervous system. Okay. Now uh, in the brain in, in the polyki, these brains are located at the prostomium, but in the cartilage, like the atrium or the most of the oligokis, is located at the peristomium. Please take note of that. The the brain their own brain that is the pair of ganglia is located at the prostomium in the polykis and at the peristomium in the clitellates remember that both the prostomium and the peristomium are at the anterior at the head region okay the prostomium is more anterior and then the peristomium is below it respiration in the annelid the annelid is fair by uh, through different means. The, for example, the earth one respire through their skin, they have pores, and then they respire through their skin. But the other one, and it is because they, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are terrestrial, even though they have to be, they have, they have to be, they have to stay in a moist soil, but they are terrestrial. But those ones that are purely apart, the ones that stay in the water column, they must have gills, like most of the, the polykids, okay, for respiration. Excretion, uh, just like, uh, in mama, for example, we have kidney. Their own kidney is the nephridia. But then they have a, a two types of nephridia called the metanephridia and the protonephridia. Now, depending on whether or not they have blood vessel, if they have blood vessel, they use the metanephridia. If they do not have blood vessel, they use the protonephridia. Please take note of that. Protonephridia, if they don't have blood vessel, Metanephidia if they have blood vessel. Now the filtration process is just as the way we have it in in the kidney. You have the 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 the, the, the filtration, the selective absorption, the ultra filtration, and so on and so forth. All this also happens. Those are the way it happens in the nephron of kidney in uh, in mammals. Circulatory system. It is important to note here that the the animals are the first group of uh, invertebrates. That have evolved a closed, a closed uh, or circulatory system. So they have closed vessels, as we can see. And then they they, they, they have a type of heart, okay. And then they, they are the blood content hemoglobin, which is very rare, just at the hemoglobin of 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 of, of mammals with the with the with the capacity to carry oxygen. In fact, in the in the in the in the anemia, they have uh, the hemoglobin has uh, what we call a high or oxygen affinity that made them to cope in hypoxic environment. 
Reproduction can be asexual. Asexual is by, by fission. Fission can be binary, it can be multiple. Uh, it can also be sexual. In that case, there might be population, as we can see in some platelet, they, they, they lie side by side, you know, or one facing the other end, and then they, 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 they secrete cocoon and then exchange uh, exchange the sex material, the sex or the, the gamete, and then separate again and then go and lay eggs. Their eggs will develop into lava, and that lava, that lava is called trochophore lava. Please take note of that trochophore lava. That is the lava of anime, the trochophore lava. Incidentally, this trochophore lava is similar to that of the trochophore lava of the of the mollusk. Their nervous system, uh, they have a pair of cerebral ganglion, okay, that reside and originates in the head, okay, and that is uh, what they use um, for 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 sensitivity and for their nervous system, okay. The mobile active forms are have very complex brain. Actually, they need it because they are not they are they are, they are not sensitive, they are not brewing, they are, they are acting. So they need it to, to to escape for the sensitivity to escape from predator and also to capture the prey. But the sensitive and burrowing ones, the sedentary ones, uh, they have less complex, less complex brain. All right, so this is the end of the lecture, and uh, I would want us to. This is the end of the lecture, so I want us to hold on till we have all of them, then we'll get our questions, and then we'll be able to tackle the questions in another uh, presentation to, to, to be able to answer all the questions. Thank you so much, and have a blessed day.